I think between you and me, when it comes down to it, this is the ultimate botched job. <laughs> up everyone it's me Steph the alt nerd your nerdy alternative and yes you read the title correctly epic freaking fail plastic surgery kills teen 18 years old what the hell happened we're gonna get into it in a moment but whilst I've got you right now if you haven't done so already please make sure you smash that shiny red subscribe button below so you can get even more daily videos from me for your news and true crime analysis like share comment all of that good stuff thank you very much for subscribing and let's get into it you guys so yes plastic surgeon was charged with a manslaughter for teen's death after a botched breast augmentation so at the time, 18-year-old uh, Emmeline Nugent went into cardiac arrest during the procedure, but authorities say that the surgeon did not call 911 for five freaking hours. Like, I don't know about you, but right off the bat, I'm like, what the freaking deuce? Like, she's in a cardiac arrest, right? She ain't in the best state right now. And the doctor takes five hours before he actually calls for freaking help. What the hell was he doing for those five hours? Like, he obviously couldn't help her or save her. Like, what the douche, right? I'm sorry, but if someone in front of me is having a cardiac arrest right now, I ain't going to think, do you know what? I'm going to pretend that I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend that I've got a freaking doctor on my wall. I'm going to call myself Dr. Steph and I'm going to go over and for five hours do naffle. Yeah, winning, right? <gasps> this doctor already has got me like totally rubbed up the wrong way. So let's continue to uh, read through this article and rant along the way because it seems to be that kind of video right now. Uh, this is the last in question. Uh... Emmeline Nugent. Apologies, I'm really bad with names, guys. Uh, but here we go. She uh, sadly lost her life due to the freaking incompetence of the doctor. Like, the plastic surgeon, five hours. Really, dude? What the hell? Why would you even think that's a good idea? Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, police have arrested uh, the Colorado plastic surgeon, a nurse anaesthetist, uh, who were involved in the botched breast augmentation that led to the death of teen patient Emmeline Nugent. Surgeon Dr. Jeffrey Kim has been charged with reckless manslaughter and first-degree aggravated assault, both felonies. Uh, a nurse an anesthetist, there we go, get my teeth back in, Rex Meeker was also charged with reckless manslaughter. Well, like... Dude, end of day, I keep coming back to this. They take five hours to decide that, yeah, dude, Emmeline is, like, proper not great. We better call her, like, 911 dudes right now. Like, why couldn't they have done it, like, five hours freaking prior to that? As soon as the cardiac arrest was going on, it'd be like, okay, yeah, uh, I'm done. 911, please come over right away. Shiz is about to get real. We need to save this girl's life. Like, to me, it's like my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, right? The dude took freaking five hours because he was trying to save his own skin. There you go. He was trying to save his own skin and try and rectify the situation without anyone knowing. Again, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, my goodness. This is nuts with a capital N. So they've been charged with some hefty stuff and damn right. Uh, Nugent uh, had gone to Kim. So this is how it all came about. 
uh, at Co uh, Colorado Aesthetic and Plastic Surgery for breast augmentation on August the 1st, 2019. After she was administered the anesthesia, Nugent went into cardiac arrest and began turning blue. But authorities say that Kim did not call for emergency help to take her to the hospital for about five hours. I'm sorry, but at the end of the day, right, if a, if a female, male, however you would like to identify yourself with, all cool with me, right? You got all the freedom in the world. If we turn blue, I'm sorry, but we're not the freaking Smurfs, right? Something is definitely wrong with that picture if someone in front of you is turning blue. Someone's turning blue, they ain't a Smurf. Call freaking 911 immediately and get them some freaking help. Wow. Dude. Um, Nugent, oh my goodness, went into a coma and suffered severe brain damage, leaving her in a permanent semi-conscious state. A family alleged in a lawsuit against Kim and Mika 14 months after the surgery on October 4th, 2020. Um, on that date, then Nugent passed away. I tell you something, though, really. If it weren't for those five hours of the doctor and the anaesthetist basically just, you know, whiling time away because, you know, why not when your patient on the table is turning blue? If it weren't for those freaking five hours, my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, I think that she would have had a chance of surviving. Five freaking hours. And she ends up in a coma and severely brain damaged. Those five hours did not help, I don't think. I really, really do not think those five hours helped. Just a little bit of a sneaky suspicion there. What do you think? Let me know in comments down below. Um, but look at her. The aftermath of it. Oh. Poor lass, poor family. All she wanted was like better breasts, like, you know, just to enhance. Now we can debate all day long, you know, should an 18 year old really be doing that this time or the other? But that debate's not part of this conversation at this point. Fact of the matter is, doctor had a duty of freaking care. And he did not uphold that duty. I keep coming back to it, but five freaking hours? Whoa. So medical authorities uh, said that Kim and Mika had an obligation. Booyah! Exactly what I've just said. To call for help and get her to a hospital. Kim turned himself in on Wednesday and was released on a $5,000 bond. An arrest warrant is currently out for Mika. So, you know, this plastic surgery dude that, you know, Probably earns a shiz ton of money because, you know, plastic surgeons, you can pretty much imagine how much they kind of charge an arm and a leg for, like, body enhancements and all that lot. Five grand to him, I would imagine, is basically, like, spare change in his back pocket. Like, as soon as judge be like, yep, yeah, uh, Bond is uh, barely set at five grand, plastic surgeons probably turn around and say, freaking take me money. There you go. Gladly. Take my money. Bond should have been set. Higher than that. Higher. Higher than that. For the death of a young woman and leaving it five freaking hours to call 911. And he gets a bond of five grand. Right. So, uh, Captain Travis Stewart of the Arafur... Hope I pronounced that right. Probably not. County Sheriff's Office uh, said uh, we opened this case in August 2019. So a couple of years back now. Uh, the investigation has taken, here we go, more than two years to complete and involved dozens of interviews and search warrants. Uh, our hope is that this will be the beginning of bringing justice and a sense of closure to Emmeline's family. Snaps to that. I can't disagree with any of that, that's for sure. Uh, this is, in my opinion, the piece of shiz um, that, uh, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, killed uh, the team. 
like, look at him. You're supposed to be able to trust your doctors, right? And if something goes wrong, okay, fair enough. We're all human, right? But well, freaking deal with it and save me life. Don't freaking wait five hours until you freaking then decide you're going to get more help and call 911 as I'm turning blue as a freaking Smurf. We're not Smurfs. We're humans. We're not supposed to be the color blue. Last time I checked. <sighs> so, yeah. Face of evil that way. Um, face of evil, in my opinion. So, Nugent's parents uh, have said in a lawsuit that the doctors left her unobserved for 15 minutes after they administered the anesthesia. So, hang on a minute. They administer the anesthesia and then they bog off for like 15 minutes, leaving her to her with the anesthesia. Like, why? You've just administered some highly strong medication that's supposed to probably knock out a horse, let alone a human, right? And you think the best idea in the whole wide world is, you know what, we've given you some anesthesia, uh, me and the uh, nurse or whoever, you know, we're going to go for a cuppa for like 15 minutes. We'll come back to you then. What the hell? Who is this plastic surgeon? How has he got, how has, how has he ever had a license? How? During which time, during those 15 minutes that they thought it was a great idea if we can bog off and leave her, she went into cardiac arrest and stopped breathing. Uh, David Woodruff, the attorney representing Nugent's parents, told People in December 2020 that the staff at Kim's Plastic Surgery Center allegedly performed CPR on Nugent twice and waited five and a half hours before calling 911. Okay, so you perform CPR on a once. It's not working, right? Okay. You try and perform it twice. Okay, maybe the second time's charm, you know. Okay, fine. But then you leave it for five hours before you call 911. If it ain't working the second time, call freaking 911 immediately she's turning blue like a smurf as i've said before humans we ain't blue if we're turning blue there's something wrong all right you gotta get it sorted and if you can't sort it call freaking 911 it, it, it's not it's not that hard is it i'm not being an idiot i'm not being facetious right if there's something wrong and you cannot deal with it yourself whether you're a doctor or whoever whatever yeah you call 911 right you get in the professionals to try and save someone's freaking life. You don't wait five freaking hours. Am I being naive here? Again, let me know in the comments down below. <sighs> now, a parent, the article saying here, were not immediately told that their daughter had gone into cardiac arrest, alleged Woodruff. So not only did they wait five freaking hours before, you know, they thought, oh, it might be a good idea to call 911 after five hours. They thought it might be a good idea as well not to tell her parents that she's gone in cardiac arrest. Yeah. Smart life choices there, dude. Oh, and look at this. This is so awful. While she was in a vegetative state, Nugent required constant care including a permanent feeding tube, the lawsuit stated, and was facing permanent me mental and physical impairment. All she wanted was just, you know, enhancements to her lady lumps. Do you know what I mean? And instead, she, she comes out with, like, facing a life of permanent mental and physical impairment. Horrifying. Absolutely horrifying, guys. Now, Nugent's family have already settled a lawsuit with Kim and Mika last year in June 2021, with each agreeing to pay $1 million. So they've got some financial justice, um, which, you know, is the least that can happen. Uh, the next thing, though, these people need to be behind bars. Behind bars. Lock away the key. He never freaking, they never freaking practice medicine ever again. Forever and ever. 
Case closed, book shut, story ends, and they can rot. Both of them rot. Um, in a statement following the news of Kim and Mika's charges, the family said that they are thankful to be finally getting justice for Emmeline. Uh, even though it will never bring our daughter back, at least this will help others from getting her and prevent ruining other families' lives, the parents said, um, according to CBS News. Uh, we still haven't been able to get closure from Emmeline's death. Hopefully, bringing criminal charges will bring out the truth about what happened and will bring justice for Emmeline. Yes, uh, snaps for that statement, because I tell you something, more shiz happened, I believe, during that five-hour stint where, yeah, they performed CPR on her twice. Yeah, but what else happened during those five hours? Because they didn't call 911 in those five hours. That's for freaking sure. My opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, they were up to some shady shiz. I think they were trying to cover their tracks. I think they knew that this was a botched job. My opinion. That it went drastically wrong. Because, you know, because she was turning blue. Again, we're not Smurfs. We're not supposed to be the colour blue. And they were trying to cover their tracks in the, those five hours. That's my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. But they got to a point where they really knew they couldn't. And then they had to call 911 because they had no other way out. Well, they did, to be fair. They could have called 911 straight away, right? <laughs> yeah, but in their mind. You know, they had no way out after five hours and then they called 911. <sighs> Absolutely freaking horrifying. Now, thankfully, these seem to be very rare instances where you've got surgeons, whether they're plastic surgeons or whatever, not really doing the right thing by their patients, you know? Uh, actually, you know, and, you know, being evil and all that malarkey the majority of them do the whole do not harm care for your patients kind of situation and you know as a society we're very lucky for that but there is it seems a minority that hmm, seem to not give a shiz i.e um this story that we've just gone through uh what do you guys think about today's absolutely crazy crime story that i've just gone through and ranted about uh let me know in the comments down below and if you haven't done so already do make sure that you subscribe to join our alternate tribe like share comment all of that good stuff we are well on our way to 10,000 alternate tribe members so if you want to be part of the tribe make sure that you're clicking that shiny red subscribe button just beneath me just just, just there just 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 there i'll wait two seconds just whilst you click it go on go on you know you wanna you know you wanna i dare you to i dare you to uh but also make sure you turn your notification bell to on so you're notified every time i upload a video which at the moment is daily so you're getting more of me and uh who wouldn't want that? Uh, although, until the next time, you guys, laters.